OCA DNS is made of different components that combine together to provide DNS services that you use in the OCI. Let's start looking at each component one by one and see what functionality they provide. Private DNS zones. Private DNS zones contain DNS data only accessible within a virtual cloud network such as private IP addresses. A private DNS zone has similar capabilities to an internet DNS zone, but provide responses only to clients that can reach it through a VCN. Every zone will contain DNS records for resolution. There are a number of zone record types supported, for example, A records, pointer records, for reverse DNS lookup, C name records, etc. Private DNS view is a collection of one or more private zones. One zone can be part of multiple views, but zone names within a view must be unique. Views are then attached to a DNS resolver. Each VCN has dedicated VCN resolver that resolves DNS queries based on the views attached to it. DNS resolvers have two components, Internet Resolver and VCN Resolver. Internet Resolver resolves host names that are publicly published on the internet, whereas VCN Resolver resolves the host name of the instances in the same VCN. Each VCN Resolver can have the capability to create endpoints. These endpoints provide ingress and egress query processing functionality. There are two types of endpoints, listening endpoints and forwarding endpoints. These endpoints get created in a subnet that you select and consume an IP address from the subnet. Each endpoint acts like a VNIC in the VCN. As a result, you can use security list or security group to control access. As of now, IPv6 is not supported for this functionality. This is a representation of how different components interact with VCN Resolver. By default, VCN Resolver will have one view attached to it called default private view. This view is created when you enable DNS at the time of VCN creation. Every time when you create a DNS enabled subnet, a new zone is created and attached to the private view. FYI, you cannot make any changes to the private zones. If you want to change how DNS resolution is done, you will have to create a custom private zone and a custom private view, then attach it to a VCN resolver. You can have multiple custom private views attached to a single resolver. You can also have endpoints attached to the VCN resolver if you need to forward DNS queries to an external server or respond to a DNS request from other servers. To forward DNS requests, you will use forwarding rules, which will be tied to the forwarding endpoint. You can create these forwarding rules based on the source subnet, target domain, or all traffic. Now let's take a look at how default DNS provision resources behind the scene to resolve the local resources. For example, user create a VCN name prod VCN. OCI will create a DNS domain based on the name of the VCN as prod vcn.oraclevcn.com. Domain name oraclevcn.com is the default domain that Oracle will assign. OCI will also create a default VCN resolver and private view named prod VCN. Next, user can create two subnets, subnet 1 and subnet 2. OCI will create a new private zone for each subnet and will attach these zones to the private view. Next, user deploys a new VM instance in one of the subnet. OCI will create an A record in the subnet private zone. Same will be the case of any additional VNIX created. When you have multiple views attached to the resolver, it resolves the DNS request based on the following order. First lookup happens on the custom private view if not available, then in the default private view. Then move on to the forwarding rules. If there is no matching rule, then try Internet Resolver. So if the first item in the sequence is able to provide the answer, then no further items are evaluated, even if the answer is negative. For example, if a query name is included by a zone in a private view and the name does not exist in the zone, the zone will return an authoritative annex domain, non-existing domain response. That brings us to the end of this topic. In the next video, we will look at how private DNS is implemented in OCI console, so stay tuned. Thank you.